Breaking news coming in at this hour. It is a big relief for the ousted Sri Lankan Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe. The Sri Lanka's top court, that is the Supreme Court, has as of, as of now stayed the President's uh, order to dissolve Parliament, uh, which essentially, of course, means that uh, the fact that Rajapakse was made the Prime Minister uh, stands null and void. Possibly we are uh, looking for more details of, of course, uh, and what the court has said in its uh, in its judgment, but there was tight security nonetheless at the Sri Lankan court. This has been going on for weeks now. Uh, there was, of course, uh, initially reports that there was going to be a floor test uh, called by the president, Sri Sena. Uh, he was backing the earlier president, uh, that is Raja Pakse, as the prime minister. Then that was overturned, and of course, the president asked for the dissolution of parliament. Many were wondering, was it because because Raja Pakse simply did not have the numbers to make it through in that floor test. And this, of course, is a victory and big relief for Ranil Vikramasinghe as the court now has stayed President Sri Sena's order to dissolve parliament. And joining us to talk a little bit more about this is our correspondent Ashwin from uh, Sri Lanka. And uh, Ashwin, give us the details of what the court has said. But essentially, uh, in gist, it means that it is relief for Ranil Vikramasinghe. Hello. Yes, indeed, it's a victory for entire country because uh, the Supreme Court, the highest court in Sri Lanka, has granted interim relief, suspending the Gazette of Dissolution till 19th December of this year. So it is a great relief for uh, Ranil Vikramasinghe and the supporters. Right. And Ashwin, now what happens next? Of yeah. course, the fact that uh, the parliament is no longer dissolved. Will there be a floor test now? What happens? Yes, indeed, it should be the ideal situation because uh, the gazette has been reversed and the uh, status quo is uh, replaced. So everybody... Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, go ahead. So uh, it's uh, reversed. So the parliament is still there. So uh, Ranil Vikramasinghe will be the pr prime minister. And uh, well, there's a doubt because now president might have to come out and say whether he still wants to go ahead uh, with his uh, appointee, uh, Rajapaksa, as a prime minister because the, the, these are very, very uh, critical situation for the country and it's very complicating. Right, critical situation for the country and of course those doubts have been put to rest. There was a lot of international pressure as well, Ashpin, on uh, the Sri Lankan president to do the right thing. However, the decision had to be finally taken by the court. So you're saying there could be a possibility of Rajapaksa withdrawing from this floor test as well? Uh, he might have to because now the initially they haven't had uh, the chance of going for a floor test simply because they were scared and they, have, uh, they did not have the sufficient numbers. Right. And of course, take us through, uh, you know, the entire back and forth in this in the last two weeks. Uh, we've been seeing uh, so much of a political crisis unfolding. Take us to what all has happened in the last two weeks. Well, uh, on the 26th, uh, President Maitripala Sirisena uh, took the decision of uh, appointing former prior president, Rajapaksa as the prime minister. So it was a starting point. But prior to that, uh, the relationship between the president and the then prime minister, Ranil Vikramasinghe, was tensed. So eventually it built up and uh, it came to a point that president had to come out and take a decision. So that was a starting point in October, 20, October 26th and the entire country was worried and that's how it all started. Right, that's all uh, how it started. And of course, if people are just uh, tuning in, Ashwin, stay with us. The big breaking news at this hour is that the ousted Sri Lankan Prime Minister Ranil, is, Ranil Vikramasinghe has received a big relief. Sri Lanka's top court, that is the Supreme Court, in an order just a few minutes ago, has stepped uh, put aside uh, President Sri Sena's order to dissolve Parliament. Now, what happens next uh, are two things that can happen. One, of course, there is a floor test and uh, the worry for the President's uh, camp and the Rajapaksa camp is that they could lose as they didn't have the numbers even before the Parliament was dissolved. The other option, of course, is to withdraw from the fight altogether and reinstate Ranil Vikramasinghe as the Prime Minister 
who was ousted in a coup of sorts. Of course, there's been a lot of international pressure as well um, on the president to do the right thing. The U.S. has also warned of repercussions if democracy uh, was not, democratic institutions were not followed. The Sri Lankan, uh, uh, the court, of course, putting all of this into perspective, saying that we are overturning that presidential order of dissolving the parliament. There has been a constitutional crisis in Sri Lanka over the last two weeks after the president had, uh, of course, said that there will be a floor test and removed Ranele Vikrasame as well. And Lahiru Potamala, a journalist from Sri Lanka, is now joining us for more on what the court has said today. And uh, uh, on uh, on first, uh, you know, uh, this looks on first reading, this looks like a big relief and victory for Ranil uh, Vikramasinghe. What has the court said in detail today? Um, I'm sorry, we don't have any details as of now. All we have is a three-judge bench, including this justice. Uh, Nalin, Nalin Pereira, they have issued this stay order, suspending the proclamation issued by President Maitri Palasiri Sena, dissolving partner. So this stay order will be in effect until December 18th, more than a month time. So in the meantime, during this time, uh, they will be going through all the FR petitions filed by the different political parties and civil society organizations and uh, mainly the UNP, the political party of the uh, ousted Prime Minister Ali Vikramasinghe. As you said, this is a huge relief, can be considered right. a huge relief for the... Yeah. Right. Right. All right. Thanks very much indeed for joining us there. Big relief for the ousted Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe. The Supreme Court has stayed the dissolution of Parliament. Remember, President uh, Sri Sena had, of course, dissolved Parliament and called snap elections on January 5th, uh, two weeks after firing the Prime Minister, that is Ranil Vikramasinghe, and two years ahead of the scheduled elections as well. So what happens next to Rajapaksa and camp, we will see in the days and hours to come.